visual themes in 22-23? You betcha. If we jump straight in and look at Explorer, we can see the groundwork is already laid in that it loads the UX controls, the updated common controls, and UX theme together. And if we look at the window with Spy++, we can see it uses it actually does use the UX controls, like the rebar and the toolbars, and status bars and all that. So how come the window's not themed then if it's got all that stuff in it? Well, well it's obvious, isn't it? We haven't got any themes. And if we look at the services, we obviously don't have another key component of the theming, which is the theme service. Now, if you believe the internet, and like most people usually do, um, this build is the last one without any themes, and that starts in 2250 with the watercolor theme. But that's not strictly the case, because here in System32, there's a file called business.thx. And if you go to the version information, you see it's a business theme for Windows. And if we go down to the product name, it says Microsoft Business Theme for Windows. Okay, so that's one component. We have a theme, but without a theme service, it's pretty useless, isn't it? Well, yeah, it is. But luckily, in UX theme in this build, there is actually a function in exports called Open Theme Services, when I find it. Yep. And what it does is, it checks to see if any hooks are set, because in this build, it doesn't use the use the API hook to inject into processes, it just uses normal Windows hooks and it checks to see if there's a call windproc hook set and if it isn't then it installs the hooks so what we need to do obviously is call this function and that should set things going so I've already created something to call that and it's not UX, it's com controls and there I've called it, it returned SOK because these use HRESULT return codes and the return boolean was true so there it's loaded and well nothing's changed does it? well obviously now the theme service is running, we have to load the theme and again this is achieved by another function it exports called quite handily load theme now it's not straightforward, you can't just pass the file name into it, there's loads of other bits you have to pass in. But I've reversed it and I figured out how to call it. And the code will be in the description of this video so you can call it yourself. And if press enter. There we go, the window theme has changed. Let's bit move this out of the way. Mouse acting up. And you can see now the left half of the window has been chopped off. See, it's not there, it's just, you can go behind it. And the title bar colour is not, now we're like a smoother blue, it's less square, it's more rounded. As you can see when compared to the Spy Plus Plus window there. But these bits, the rebar backgrounds don't quite redraw properly. And one of the major things in this, in the visual theme is when you create child dialogues they sort of disappear you can see it's sort of there with the, the button and the background but it's not very visible likewise the properties dialogues they suffer from Z fighting so if you it sort of disappears and then it's quite hard to get it back on top and the checkboxes, they've also changed. If you hold the mouse button down, the tick comes in the box and then it goes blue, signified that it's checked. And then if you do it again, it goes white again. And if you've seen the, the screenshots I put on Twitter of this, you'd be going, well, where's all the purple? Well, of course, that was in details view, wasn't it? Yeah. You'd be going, well, where's the grid lines? Where's the purpleness? And where are the red menus? Well, that's sort of disingenuous for me, them screenshots, because all that is commented out of this theme. So, so I commented, I uncommented it, and then loaded it, and it returns OK. Oh yeah, sorry, there's, apart from calling that function, there's some registry settings you have to set, which I've completely forgotten about. As you can see here, the run dialog is also suffering. Now it's not there, that's for something else I was doing. It's current user 
Microsoft software even Microsoft Windows conversion theme manager now you have to set a couple of string entries I don't know why the string entries are not D word values but there we go en enable dialog that themes the child dialogues the frame does the the window borders and the temp controls I think that turns on the alternative implementation implement implementations of the common controls like I can show you it more readily if I go to change that to an app I made called UX controls if I go see it's very sluggish and you see we get new highlights in list view report modes now if I open up the original common controls these are the unthemed ones see it's just all normal as you expect on XP and 7 if you don't use a manifest these are still exactly the same nowadays but if I open up the UX controls if I open that you can see the alternative implementations i.e. the temp controls which I think it means actually like render the background in list views if you set a background the code for these apps is both the same so the other one should have the picture there but it doesn't show up like as you can see here with header controls which I've had the text chopped off that they rendered blue when you mouse over them and then pretty much everything else except the progress bar is the same now like I said there's bits commented out of the theme and that changes tab controls and oh yeah, the tooltips already been changed in this thing you can see as well that the window top of title bar of the window has been moved off the screen that's a common thing you'll find with this theme when you open windows it moves them half off the screen so you have to move them back on now note that the left hand side of this window is okay I don't know why that is it hasn't been chopped off but again there's no close buttons or minimize maximize buttons in the corner so they're not there either so we have to use the old keyboard alt f4 method to get rid of them now if I turn this off and you can see the left hand side of the window does not come back even when you turn off the theme even when you minimize and maximize it it still doesn't turn off so now if I log off I want to show you the commented out theme you have to log off to make sure Explorer has died and not doesn't hold any references to the theme file because the UX theme loads it like millions of times so it's business hell will break loose now Ugh. yeah obviously now see we've got some different differences straight away here the background well the text has a white background on the desktop now it doesn't quite fit on the text doesn't fit on tooltips are still the same well, same as the uncommented theme, I mean. Now, see, we've got grid lines here on report view list boxes, list boxes, list views, even. Yeah, and if we select the column, then the column selection goes magenta. I don't know if that's meant because it's meant to be um, transparent, because magenta is usually used for transparency in it. And it's specifically called out in the theme file to translate one color to magenta. So, I don't know, see the background of the rebars. I've now gone red and I forgot to change the thing but then I in the red red it to Explorer so and it didn't save where I was which is uh, environment software is that one Microsoft The temp controls thing, I think that's system wide, even though I haven't selected Explorer to be themed because obviously the, the list view has been themed. So if I stop it and restart it again, now that Explorer is themed, I'll set it back to Explorer. 
Now the title bar hasn't changed this time. I don't know why that is because the commented out theme has all the same things as the original theme. And yeah, obviously the menus are red. I didn't uncomment the stuff that referenced images that weren't in the theme file. So menu chevrons were one of them. So that's why you can't see any chevrons there pointing to the left. Left? Right? Uh, doesn't board well, does it? Yeah. Uh, see all these have a blue background now. The highlight colour is the same as the background colour, that's why you can't see any mouse highlight over there. But the, oh, it's only the favourites menu that gets themed like that. The view menu and all the others look the same. So I don't know what's special about the favourites menu in this, but it does get themed differently. If I kill Explorer, that might get it working properly with the theme. You see, this is one of the major things. These are text outlines that strike through here. These are actually meant to be the, the text borders, but they're not implemented correctly. And the highlight, equally so. As you can see, the Start Menu button's lost its text. And the Start Menu itself has been themed. Again, these have chevrons. I don't know why they have the chevrons. So, so if I open up a window... See, now it has been themed properly, the border. The left-hand side of the window is still here and the title bar text has also disappeared along with the caption buttons but yeah, again if we start the, the, see the dialogue there it disappeared straight away it seems to be even more serious in this commented out theme but there you get it if you can hold the mouse button down it appears got static text is blue now and the main change in the commented out bit is with tab headers. You see how big they are now and they highlight when you mouse over them. Yeah, they work just fine. And again, it's very unstable. It crashes Explorer pretty much. Well, it makes Explorer crash quite a lot. If you open up properties on a file or folder, see the the icons disappeared and all the static text labels don't appear on this one. On the sharing, the radio buttons follow the same thing as the checkboxes. They highlight blue when you do that. Dialogues, you see that's like broken as well. You get three different colours of the, the title bar themes here. Another of the big problems with theme in Explorer is if you right click on the desktop and then select any of these pop out menus everything disappears and yeah, it pretty much doesn't come back you can also see if I go to log off that the log off screen is themed and loses all its text and as well likewise the turn off one so yeah quick to all the visual themes there and they are in 2223